perfect example of why you use GPS filtering. Uh, we have a 24 uh, gigahertz K-band here at the traffic light that is locked out. And then we have a 24.152 K-band that is a cop up here. And Valentine 1 says that you shouldn't use GPS filtering because you could potentially have two of the same frequency in the same location that would get locked out and one would be a real signal and then you wouldn't get alerted to a real signal. And this is an example of why you use GPS filtering uh, because we have two very similar frequencies, uh, both K-band, that are in the same location and it properly locked out one but not the other. Now if I didn't have a GPS lockout, my brain would tell me as I approach this, the traffic light that I go through every day that the K-band signal on my radar detector was the traffic light. And I would pay no attention to it. Effectively, I would lock it out with my brain but my brain is an imperfect software and I don't memorize the frequency of the false K-band at the traffic light that I go through every day. So I would pay no attention to it and therefore I would not be alerted to the cop. But because I have a good GPS filtering on this unit in, uh, same as it's uh, what's on the Escort, then the bad signal is locked out and the correct signal alerts me to the officer running radar.